हेलो दुश्मनों सिंस द डे आई हैव स्टार्टेड दिस चैनल आई हैव गॉट लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन वाई शुड वन चूज पी एच डी ओवर अ जॉब एम टेक वर्सेज एम एस वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कोर्स बेस्ड एम टेक एंड रिसर्च बेस्ड एम टेक शुड यू गो फॉर एम टेक और नॉट आई आई टी इज वर्सेज आई आई एस सी अबाउट माई करियर जर्नी आई एक्चुअली डोंट गेट दैट मच टाइम टू प्रिपेयर अ डेडिकेटेड वीडियो टूअर्ड सम टॉपिक दैट्स वाई आई जस्ट कीप ऑन रिकॉर्डिंग थिंग्स अलॉन्ग विद माई नॉर्मल वर्क दैट बिकम्स ईजियर फॉर मी टूडे आई जस्ट थॉट आई start addressing those questions i have put something uh, on run this is going to take time first thing uh, i would like to discuss is my own career whatever i'll be talking about will be based on my own experiences and my choices my preferences so i keep on doing many things here and there but uh, now i'll be talking about specifically computer science and engineering career most of the things i have chosen throughout my career were based on my interests since school time i hated memorization i hated history i hated hindi english up to 10th even science is memorization based i loved maths because you have to write very less you have to memorize very less you get full marks just by writing few lines i was always inclined towards uh, logical uh, subjects uh, which require understanding the concept rather than uh, just mugging up the things when we choose our streams in uh, 11th and 12th i was very sure that i am not going to take biology i cannot survive biology i cannot memorize those many things i chose physics chemistry maths luckily computer science was there in my school english is kind of forced on us so <laughs> there is no escape from that otherwise i would have avoided english also as part of computer science course in 11 12 they teach c++ i was more into that category uh, of students who like physics the most mathematics chemistry the least and somehow i started building uh, interest for programming because it's purely based on thinking nothing else so once you know the language it's completely you and the problem uh, you are trying to solve after that i tried iit je exam in which i failed just because of chemistry uh, i could not clear chemistry cut off by some 3 4 marks i was in extended list uh, which they used to give at that time i ended up in a state level college at that time the name was ymca institute of engineering later on they changed to ymca university of science and technology now it's something else i don't even know what is the current name in terms of studies it was very bad i don't want to appreciate it for no reason or just because i graduated from uh, there seriously i don't understand why those teachers could not teach well blame is put on the students oh students are not good oh they bunk the classes this and that but uh, i strongly disagree with those things clearly i can say that teachers were not good all of the students which go there are good rank holders it's not that they are poor students just because of some reasons they could not clear je it was just a bad luck computer science fundamentals are very simple anyone can understand and teach those fundamentals but i remember like in data structure and algorithm they did not teach beyond linked lists and that also in theory <laughs> forget about programming building a thought process in students to solve problems uh, so that was not even touched trees height balance trees advanced data structures that was not even touched we did not even know something like that exists linked list i studied in 12th itself i don't think they taught me anything beyond that compilers they could not even com- complete the syllabus and it's such a simple subject such a simple course you are not able to teach that course well my btech level college was pathetic in terms of studies but i just enjoyed life there just had fun after that uh, i was placed on campus in not so good company these bulk hiring uh, companies like tcs infosys and uh, they gave me some 3.25 lakhs per year whatever i was getting that was being spent just in it seems travel fare metro then auto i could never reach on time in that company and i was not even interested in working there in the name of software development we were making excel sheets there or some documents i just uh, quit within uh, hardly i think one or two months and after that i joined 
मीडिया टेक ऑफ कैंपस दैट वॉज गुड इनफ आई वॉज बिल्डिंग सम एप्लीकेशन देयर मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन देयर आई वॉज राइटिंग सम कोड टू थाउजेंड इलेवन दे गिव सम सिक्स लैक्स बट आफ्टर दैट वट यू फील इज वी वॉन्ट मोर मनी आई वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू अ बेटर कंपनी सो आई स्टार्टेड प्रिपेयरिंग माई सेल्फ स्टिल दो लेक्चर्स आर देयर एंड पी टी एल डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड एलगोरदम लेक्चर्स देन आई स्टार्टेड सॉल्विंग प्रोग्रामिंग क्वेश्चंस Geeks for geeks. That's the best way to start for the people who don't know anything in programming, like I was. From the very basic, I started. After coming to Amazon Bangalore, I realized that I want to move to higher studies. Reasons were purely personal. I think if I have not had those personal reasons, then I would not have chosen uh, higher studies after job. I was not able to give. time to personal life some personal aspects uh, of my life job was consuming too much time i'm not a, a person who just want to dedicate his whole life to a company uh, for some money for that reason i quit uh, amazon after one and half year then i wrote gate and uh, again i could not clear gate the reason was very stupid that was the only exam in my life it seems for which i was too much prepared because of excitement i could not sleep at night and the exam was in afternoon that lack of focus uh, was reflected in the answers instead of plus i thought it's a comma and i lost i think some 15 marks because of that my rank was some 677 fortunately i cleared uh, triple it's entrance uh, exam and i think it was a good thing that i went to triple it hyderabad instead of some iit so triple it hyderabad has a very nice coding culture and a different type of culture rather than a typical academic setup the type of uh, courses that i got to learn there at least to touch those type of courses and also i got to meet lot of uh, interesting people in triple it hyderabad i think i was fortunate just fortunate enough to get a gold medal uh, in my masters i got a job just after mtech in directi directi was a great company till now i admire directi in terms of money which they offer the type of work that i was doing it was pure ml based i was liking that work and the type of flexibility i was given to do that work also food <laughs> then again due to personal reasons i quit on directi i kind of like teaching talking discussing things explaining things making a difficult concept easier i feel that in our institutes lot of things are unnecessarily made difficult they are super easy but they are taught in a way that they appear to be difficult that was kind of one motivation to join phd so that i get an opportunity to teach at some point of uh, my life also to have a balanced personal life uh, that was another motivation till now i don't regret quitting corporate and coming to research people think oh it's a difficult commitment why higher studies who will study again for me i feel it's much 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 better than a corporate job i feel very free then also we feel that oh in every engineering college the level of studies is same iits iims iis these are just big names i hear a lot of such weird things from people but trust me there is a huge 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 difference between the level of education in such institutes and in the level of education in which i have studied i have done my btech from not even some small minor gap that okay thoda bahut fark hai no it's a very very big difference triple it hyderabad was at a different level then my btech college and iisc is beyond much beyond that level i won't say in terms of coding so in iisc they don't focus on coding that's not the culture here but in terms of research there is a huge difference my program has finished i'll just check the results i'll try to make some uh, such simple plain videos where i'll just talk about career there are too many things that i would like to talk about say my exact experience uh, in corporate at amazon during my internships here and there what motivations did i have to choose my phd topic what type of opportunities 
do people have after completing PhD from IISC. Videos will be purely based on my experience because I won't be doing a lot of research to make those. They will be informal videos like this, some late night talks. <laughs> I think it's 2 a.m. So whenever I'll get such time when my code is running. Okay, bye for now. Take care. Thank you.